Okay, that took quite a bit longer than I really expected it to. As far as I, I was going to get this tutorial done quite a while ago, but uh, here we go. Friend on YouTube asked me to do a tutorial on rigging, and so my goal here is I've got this kind of weird shape that could be a monster, and in fact, that's what it is, which I want to be able to move using this rig. Uh, it's a pretty simple rig. I didn't do anything too spectacular with it. I can set up IK chains and stuff later. And now what's really happening, the ultimate goal is I obtained this character somewhere and I'm not even sure where I got it in all honesty. Uh, but it's a very complex monster character and rigging this would be an absolute beast. And so one little method that you can use if you have a very high vert vertex count model that you need to rig like this is to create a simpler model that completely engulfs it which in this case would be this notice how this wire cage surrounds the entire monster and then through a modifier on that monster which I believe I have well it's this modifier over here, deform, and it would be this mesh deform. If I add that and link it to this cage, then all I have to do is pose the cage and it will pose the monster underneath. So let's pull, so we need to attach this rig to this uh, cage. So let's begin. Well, first thing we have to do is take the actual cage all right, well, okay, I'm sorry. The first thing we need to do is to get the actual rig into pose mode. So go down here from object mode, get into pose mode. All right, and now let's click on that and shift click and press control P. And I want to parent that cage to uh, the armature with automatic weights well actually let's do it with M typically this works really well this will pretty much assign vertex weights to all the vertices without you ever having to do it and it actually works fairly well 95 percent of the time but for the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to put empty groups on there so have supposing that's worked I should not get any movement with when I move the uh, armature at all. What has happened is um, let me do that again because I had an extra I had an extra modifier that I didn't want. So control P with empty groups. Alright so what has happened is you'll now notice that I have a set of vertex groups over here and so bone.000, that would correspond to the vertex that would move when I move this bone. Notice how, oh, I'm sorry, this is actually bone.001. No, I'm sorry, that's bone. Bone, okay. So when I move this bone, I want a set of vertices to move with it on the cage. And those vertices that are going to move with it are defined here. So now I have to ask myself, well, if I am going to move this bone, what part of this cage do I want to move with it? So I'm going to go to the, my cage. I'm now going to go into weight paint mode. Now I can move that bone and I'm going to click Z so that I can actually see the actual vertices. And I'm just going to click I know that I want all those vertices to go. And so notice how I've got it set to add with the strength of one. I know that those vertices I want to, 100% of it, I want to move when I move this bone. So now you can look, okay? And now I want this one ring to also move. So I'm gonna have to zoom in quite a bit further.
Now the fact of the matter is that weight painting is a pain in the ass and there's just no getting around it. And so a lot of this tutorial is just going to be re repetition. Same thing, same thing. You just have to ask yourself, all right, I have this bone, what vertices do I want to move with it? And now I'm very basic. I try to keep things to either, I want to vert, I, I try to keep, I try to model, in fact, such that I think to myself, all right, I want this set of vertices to move 100% with this bone. So I might rig an arm or model an arm, and it'll be like, I know all of these vertices, I want to completely be moved by this one bone. So like when I modeled this little head thing, I just thought to myself, I want this ring of vertices to be completely moved by the head armature, or, or by the head bone. Okay, and now really that should be enough. I'm gonna try something. Oh, that won't work. Okay, now I'm gonna leave weight paint mode. I'm gonna go into object mode. Okay, and now I can actually click on that and you'll see what happens there. Okay, that's pretty slick. All right, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, let's go here. Let's go into edit mode. I hope this works. And I am literally going to just try to hide. Well, I already showed myself that it won't work. Okay, so all of those vertices were vertices that that were part of this vertex group, and they were are now completely moved by that bone. Now there's another way to go. I look at this paw bone here, and I want all these vertices to be completely moved by this paw bone. So instead, all right, well, first off, let me figure out what the name of that paw bone is. And that paw bone is bone.0009, okay? So I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to select all the vertex vertices that I want to be moved by bone 0009. I have any extra vertices. Now I'm going to go over here to bone 009 and I'm going to assign it. Okay, go back into object mode and now those vertices should move with that bone. Okay, and so in that case it's a lot quicker to go that way. And let's do the same thing here. all of these vertices to move with that other paw, the rear paw. So David Ward's got a great little animation he does with a frog. It's called the Alcoholic Frog. You should check it out on YouTube. David Ward is uh, part of the Blender Cookie. Anyway, he the, the alcoholic frog told the joke about his paw, dog's paw. Anyway, all right, so this bone is bone.12. So those vertices that I just selected, I want them to go to bone 12. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to deselect everything by pressing the A key. And now I'm going to go back to bone 09. I'm going to select it, which just highlights all those bones, and now I'm going to hide those vertices. And now I'm going to go to bone 12, select those, and I'm going to hide those. And the reason for that is now I can just look, okay, this bone here, which vertices do I want to move with that bone? And I would say that I want 